Did Billie Eilish just reveal that she is racist? Is she getting cancelled for this? It seems she didn't have enough after the controversy she got herself in with her style change and Vogue magazine photo shoot. And this time, users uncovered a video where she is heard saying a racial slur which prompted fans to say enough is enough. But after receiving non-stop backlash, Billy finally decided to address the accusations and has responded to fans regarding the situation. Billy is no stranger to controversy after being recognized as one of the best artists of our time and winning the four main Grammy categories in a single year. She has been one of the most recognized artists in the world. Her first controversy was back in 2018 when she decided to pay tribute to the controversial late rapper XXXTentacion after his murder at the age of 20. Billy wrote a song titled 61818 and performed it during her one by one tour and explained the song was about someone that made her feel okay when nothing and no one else did. During the same show, she also played one of XXXTentacion's songs and said that no matter what was going on in his life, he was always there for her. She also posted an Instagram tribute to him, which she later deleted, where you can see some supporting messages he had sent her and called him the strongest human being she's ever known. Some fans did actually enjoy the tribute to the late rapper and were thankful that she did it, but others weren't so happy that she was supporting an alleged domestic abuser. For those of you out of the loop, at the time of his dead, XXXTentacion was awaiting trial for domestic abuse charges after he allegedly assaulted his pregnant girlfriend, Geneva Ayala. She had claimed that he had threatened to kill her and that he had a long history of being physically violent with her. At the time of her revelations, he was placed on house arrest and fans took the chance to look for old evidence of him hitting a woman in the head in an old Snapchat from 2013. The woman from the video actually came forward later in time and claimed she was terrified for her life. However, after his death, all of the charges were dropped but Billy's fans still didn't like the idea that she was publicly praising him and prioritizing her personal relationship to him over his problematic behavior towards women. One person tweeted at the time, Can everyone stop standing Billie Eilish? She was an apologist for XXS Temptation. An outwardly proud abuser, she's cancelled. But Billie defended herself and her decision to pay tribute to X in an interview with The Independent where she said, I don't think I deserve getting hate for loving someone that passed. But just as the waters started to calm down and everyone was forgetting about the controversy, Billy got involved in another scandal, but this time she was being accused of queer baiting, which is a marketing strategy used by many celebrities where they hint or pretend to be part of the LGBTQ community. It's nothing new and there have been plenty of celebrities that have fallen into this with fans getting mad at them for it. Billy was the latest in the bunch and she was called out for queer baiting after she released a music video for her newest single, Lost Cause. The video focuses around a slumber party between Billy and her girlfriends where they dance seductively and strike sexy poses. Which is still normal. The problems began after she shared an Instagram picture with everyone involved and captioned it with, I love girls. Some fans thought this was Billy's way of coming out, but others took it as her trying to exploit Pride Month and the LGBTQ identity to promote her song. One fan wrote on Twitter, Queer baiting is bad enough, but during Pride Month? I'm sorry, but no Billie Eilish. And to this date, Billie still hasn't directly addressed the controversy around the queer baiting accusations. But she did like a post on Instagram which read, This fandom is so embarrassing sometimes, like why would you go in someone's comments and say something that you literally don't even know is true and something y'all literally made up? Sometimes y'all are so dumb, some of you just need to learn how to mind your business. But this only sparked even more hate towards her with fans saying that she was being arrogant and didn't know how to take any criticism. One fan wrote, Billie Eilish doing queer baiting and then liking a post that said her fans are embarrassing? Like, girl, walk on the floor again, you're not some kind of god or something. But now she is involved in yet another scandal. This time fans are calling for Billie Eilish to be cancelled when a TikTok surfaced of Billie using a racial slur. The video quickly made its rounds around social media and is now everywhere. The video was originally posted on TikTok and received over a million views in just a few days. In the video, Billy was seen using the C word, which is a derogatory term used against people of Chinese descent. But that wasn't it. The video was a short compilation of other clips where she is doing more racist stuff. 
In another clip, she is seen mocking Asian people by imitating and speaking in a way that sounds like she is mocking them. After the video went viral, fans quickly started unfollowing and some of them took to social media to express their feelings regarding the situation. One fan told a magazine, I've been her fan ever since her Ocean Eyes period, but I'll quit following her now. What she did makes me feel betrayed, like you give your heart to someone who actually belittles you. Another disappointed fan wrote, That video of Billie Eilish mocking Asian accents and saying chink is so upsetting because I loved her music and thought she was very cool. We can never have nice things. To make matters worse, it seems the people closest to her are that way too. Her 29-year-old boyfriend, Matthew Tyler Vores, recently posted and was exposed for posting some racist and homophobic tweets. He later apologized on Instagram in a story which read, I want to apologize for the things that I wrote on social media in the past. The language I used was hurtful and irresponsible and I understand how offensive those words are, whether it was a lyric, a quote, or just me being dumb. It does not matter. I am ashamed and deeply sorry that I used that in any context. It is not how I was raised and it is not what I stand for. I shouldn't have used this language in the first place and I won't use it again. I am so sorry for the hurt I have caused. I take full responsibility and continue to hold myself accountable for my actions. Okay, he apologized, but what about Billy? Did she apologize too after she was exposed all over the internet for using racial slurs? She actually did address the controversy in her Instagram stories but blamed it on ignorance, saying she wasn't aware the C word was a racial slur. She mentioned she decided to address the issue because she was labeled as something she's not. She wrote, There is a video edit going around of me when I was 13 or 14 where I mouthed a word from a song that, at the time, I didn't know was a derogatory term used against members of the Asian community. I am appalled and embarrassed and want to barf that I ever mouth along to that word. She claimed she heard the word for the first and only time in the song and no one around her had ever used it. However, she also added, Regardless of my ignorance and age at the time, nothing excuses the fact that it was hurtful and for that I'm sorry. She also addressed a second clip where she mocks Asian people's accents and claims she was simply speaking in a silly gibberish made up voice. She defended herself saying she has used that voice since she was little and that she has used it with basically everyone. She wrote, The voice is in no way an imitation of anyone or any language, accent of culture in the slightest. Anyone who knows me has seen me goofing around with the voices my whole life regardless of how it was interpreted. I did not mean for any of my actions to have caused hurt to others and it absolutely breaks my heart that it is being labeled now in a way that might cause pain to people hearing it. I not only believe in but have always worked hard to use my platform to fight for inclusion, kindness, tolerance, equity, and equality. We all need to continue having conversations, listening, and learning. I hear you and I love you. However, fans still think she was only apologizing because she was caught. One fan wrote, So let me get this straight. Billy was exposed for being racist towards Asians, mocked black people, is queerbaiting, acting like she likes girls for extra attention, and was seen hanging out with a racist and homophobe, and she calls us embarrassing? No fucking way. But now I want to know what you think. Do you believe Billy was only apologizing because she was caught? Or was it really just an old clip that doesn't represent her actual self? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, please leave a like if you enjoyed the video and until next time.